Microsoft and Sony seem to be priming themselves for yet another great showing at their respective showcases that are rumored to be just around the corner. Find out what new IPs could be lurking on the horizon. Up next. What up guys, this is Kalo, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content, drop a like on the video, and follow me on Twitter. Well, it seems as if we are coming up on showcase season for both Xbox and Sony. When it comes to the Xbox side of things, we might be getting that highly anticipated Starfield showcase that will deep dive into what exactly this game is all about, and most likely the game's actual release date. According to a tweet sent out by Andy Robinson from from the video game chronicles i hear the announcement for that starfield showcase is imminent now while this type of showcase for xbox more specifically just starfield is a no-brainer and was confirmed by microsoft themselves i feel as if this is the perfect stage for this game to shine and really dive into the questions fans have been generating since we got our first look at the gameplay this game will be massive and while at its core i feel as if it'll play like most bethesda shooters along the lines of fallout more specifically, there is so much more to expand on when it comes to this game. More specifically, space exploration, space dogfights, and even the game's shipbuilding component that could all get their fair share in the sun at this showcase. But above all else, the thing that is imperative for this showcase to accomplish, at least in my opinion, is to get the game's release date out there. Microsoft and Bethesda claim this game will in fact release in the first half of 2023, but if you've been in the gaming world for quite some time now, you and I both know some of the industry's biggest titles have all been subject to delays i know starfield has been delayed and this and that but honestly it doesn't surprise me at this point if there's an announcement that the game gets delayed yet again just make sure the game launches no problems now i think the reasoning behind them not revealing the release date for starfield up until now is primarily because bethesda wants to avoid yet another big studio that announces delay after delay rather they want to announce the date when they can confidently say starfield is in fact on the way in that case take all the time you need we don't want another cyberpunk launch day as for when this showcase will go down i'm sticking to that late march time frame but who knows at this point now as for this supposed showcase that could be happening within the next couple months is for PlayStation. According to Jeff Grubb, a showcase for some of PlayStation's biggest IPs could be happening sometime before E3. During an episode of Jeff Grubb's Game Mess, he went on to talk about the reason why the most recent state of play was so underwhelming to some fans was because, quote, they're saving all the good stuff for the PlayStation showcase. That's gonna happen before E3. It was supposed to happen last fall, but they kept pushing it back because their developers weren't ready. He went on to state, now that those developers are ready, they should have a massive show that really sets up the second phase of the PS5. Now, E3 normally happens in June, so I could be led to believe that the showcase could happen in maybe May. But let's get on to what could actually be shown at this showcase. The first two titles that come to mind are from Insomniac Studios being Spider-Man 2 and The Wolverine, which were originally revealed in the September 2021 showcase. Spider-Man is looking to hit that fall of 2023 release window, so this would be a perfect time to get some gameplay out there and anything else in regards to the Wolverine would just be the cherry on top. Studios like Sucker Punch could go on to announce games like Ghost of Tsushima 2 and Ben Studio who famously worked on Days Gone back in 2019 apparently have a game in the works. And finally I think a studio that could make a massive splash at this showcase is Naughty Dog. They're currently working on The Last of Us Factions which I want to speculate right now that this could be shadow dropped following the showcase following in the veins of Xbox dropping Hi-Fi Rush and Nintendo with Metroid Prime. Aside from factions, they also have other unknown projects in development. Please, could we get another Jack and Daxter game? Am I the only one who wants that? Sony is also heavily rumored to have yet another studio that is under the supervision of Naughty Dog, who are currently working on a new Uncharted, so we could get word about that there. There are also six live service games coming from Sony at some point in the future, along with a good dose of PSVR 2 titles that could be announced at this showcase. But as per usual, I'm gonna pass this question off to you guys. Let's get into some wild speculation. What are some titles you think that will be announced at PlayStation Showcase? And what are you expecting from Starfield? Personally, I just wanna know more about the shipbuilding. Something about that just seems so cool to me. 
and I can't wait to get into this game. But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown in all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video, and I'll see you guys next time.